Hey guys, my name is Chris. Welcome to my channel. Sorry, my nose is itchy. I don't have my other hand open because there's a baby over there. For those who didn't know, um, I have started my own YouTube channel. So go ahead over. We're going to start posting my day in the life videos every day, daily vlogs. Just kidding. I'm not going to edit them. That's Kelly's job. No, I'm just kidding. Um, got something cool in the mail. What could it be? What could it be? But the official birth certificate for this girl. Now she's really a person, apparently. Well, you know what I mean. How's it look? Did they spell it right? Did I spell it right, really? Is a... So we ordered it three different ways <laughs> because of some mishaps with insurance. Um, yeah, so we ordered it $50. $54. So, long story short, for those of you who are having kids soon, or plan to have kids, remember to add them to your insurance. Add them as a dependent on your insurance within 30 days of their birth. We did not do that, I did not do that, and it ended up being a whole process to get her added. Um, so yeah, there's, there's the advice. I did not know this going in, Kelly did not know this, um, it was not made aware obvious to me. I'm sure that it was written somewhere on some document from my health insurance. But for future reference, next child we have, I know to do it. Um, yeah, so there's, there's my piece of advice for everybody today. Would you like to add anything? No, this is the start of a vlog. I haven't vlogged all This is the start of a vlog. Today's Friday, uh, August 19th. October. It is 3.15 in the afternoon. This girl has had Interesting day. Say hi. When she doesn't sleep enough, she gets cranky. And then when she gets cranky, it's hard for her to go to sleep. And eat. And <laughs> eat. So it's a cycle. So she doesn't, she doesn't get enough sleep, so then she's pissed, and she won't go to sleep. And then she starts getting hungry, and she's pissed. But she can't eat because she's too tired and too pissed. And she won't eat. And then yeah, she won't she's eat. She's too tired. She needs to sleep, but she's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. She can't sleep because she's hungry, mm -hmm. but she can't eat because she's too tired. Isn't that right? Because she's too tired. Listen to that. Listen to that person. Oh, she kicked it. Hey, okay, again, packed some boxes. This is our normal Friday thing. I have, you know, a lot of my reps get off at like 3, 3.30 on Fridays, so my afternoons are a little bit less busy, don't have as many meetings, so it's time to work on some work at stuff. Kelly's feeding, again. The question of the day is, why do men have nipples if they're so pointless? It's a solid question. What are they there for? I know there's a science answer of like, they're developed in the womb before, you know, whatever. I knew it. What? Well, men have nipples because embryos are always female in their early stages. Males only differentiate from females in their early stages. No, I know that, but still. Like, sex is assigned so fast, like so early. Like, why isn't there a way to... I don't know. It doesn't, I mean, it is what it is. Bottom line is, I'm, I feel helpless. What are you gonna do? Um, so I, I do this. I don't know what else to say. We can do a giveaway. Give me one of these boxes. What should I have them comment to enter the giveaway? A comment down below what your preferred drink of choice would be if you could spew liquid out of your nipple. I would pick Diet Dr. Pepper. Um, what would you pick? Juice, milk, water, like on demand. Just do this, grab a glass, it's ice cold. That's a caveat, it's ice cold. Or it's warm, whatever you prefer. Comment down below, preferred drink of choice, if you could lactate it. What do you think? Kelly's annoyed by me, it's all right. That's the perks of it. If you saw Kelly's Instagram video yesterday, I can be weird. I I'm curious, will YouTube take down videos if I were to show you right now breastfeeding? 
they take that video down, do you want to show it? I'm guessing you don't. I have shown it. Though. You have? Oh. Can you stop okay. To I'm sorry about the lighting. There's nowhere else to put this. I'm going to keep doing this. Have a good rest of your Friday or whatever day this is being posted. Just have a good one. Good morning. It is the next day. Don't mind. My hair is insane. Um, I just pulled up to the gym. It is 7.07. .07. My plan was to get here more around 6 or 6.30, but that's okay. I ended up sleeping in a little bit longer because it took me longer to fall asleep. And it's Saturday, so Chris is home. He can watch Emerson. I had a little bit more leniency today, but this is now the second time that I've seen something like this. I obviously come to the gym the same way every time. And on the way, I passed this one house shortly after we moved into our house. I was on the way to the gym the one day and I'm like, man, there has this car has just been like someone crashed into this person's yard like hit a tree and the car was sitting there for forever. Mind you, this is a very straight road. So I'm like, it had to have been drunk driving. Like I, I don't see how, how you could crash otherwise. Like it's a straight road. That car sat there for a while, like clearly totaled. There was no, no bringing it back. It was not good. It was a very bad accident. One car accident. And I actually think it's, there was another time there was another one that wasn't as bad but this morning on my way to the gym there was a truck that literally just looked like it had been totally smushed clearly rolled at least two times in this person's front yard the same house i don't know what's going on there was two people standing right by the truck and then right as i passed it there was an ambulance coming so i think that this had just happened from the way the car looked i don't I truthfully don't see how you could get out of that. Like it looked like a, it looks like a very, very bad accident. So I'm really like hoping that the two people standing there were the people in the car, AKA that they're fine. But I'm like, what, what is it with this person's lawn? Like, can you imagine just getting up in the morning and seeing a totaled vehicle in your front lawn? It seems like it happens once a year. It's so weird. Anyway, hopefully those people are okay. The only thing I can, it's either drunk driving or distracted driving, or if a deer were to come into the road and then they like try to swerve really quick and then they kind of go into the ditch and then roll. But I've literally never seen a single deer in that area. That's not to say there aren't deer there, but I, I just cannot wrap my head around. I'm like, how am I seeing another, like the, those are the worst accidents I've seen. Single car accidents. <laughs> all in this person's front lawn. What is happening? I'm gonna head in and lift, I believe, legs or do a circuit, like a full body circuit. Maybe I will do that, I don't know. I'm gonna walk for 10 minutes to warm up and we will figure out what we're doing, but then I need to, either way, it's gonna be like a 40 minute workout probably because I need to get home to the girl. I don't like, like even when Chris is home, I don't, I don't like being gone for too long. I don't know. That is something I should probably get better at, like learning to not rush myself during the times I do have out of the house. But it's hard because I'm like, I don't, what if she's being fussy? Like, I don't want to just leave him by himself struggling. She's been good. I'm sure it's all going to be fine. But I, there, I always rush myself whenever I'm out of the house. <sighs> Let's head in. Go crush a workout. And I was thinking maybe we could go to the farmer's market today. It's beautiful. I don't know. Let it go. All the boots are like, whoa. Thing I go. Cause you don't have a. I see. I see. And you're the better now, girl. Yeah. Got your car blood. Yeah. No, I eat it there, I swear. I swear. Check out Mondo Zero. Pokes are all can't get you there. Go me do. I was in trouble. Now I'm back on no more. Do it. Get chumped in your day. If you want me back, I'll tell you I'm sorry. If you want me back, I'll tell you stop trying. Yeah, yeah, you got me. Let it go. All the boots are like whoa.
get cold blood. I'm like frozen, more I'm all the stress and gotta let it go. So, so get to dating up for that guy at the boss. Uh, uh, and they got good in there. Did you watch my last vlog? No. Nah. What do you think you're doing? It is the next morning. Not morning, afternoon. It's 12 17. Yesterday's workout was really good. And then I'm not gonna lie, the rest of the day was just kind of meh. Um, I sat outside for like 30 minutes. And other than that, poor little Emmy had a little bit of a rough day. She was fighting an app like all day. Technically, she's in her second leap. I try not to pay too close attention to the app. Um, but when she is having a rough day, I'll get on and I'm like curious if there's anything going on today that like could be causing this. And she's like directly in the middle of her second leap. So lots of changes for her. Uh, she slept all the way through the night last night. So that was fantastic. I would much rather her be up all day and sleep through the night. And that's what's been happening or that's what happened yesterday. She seems like she's having a better day today. So that's really good. It just seemed like she was uncomfortable yesterday. And so it's just like, I feel bad. She was cluster feeding so bad. <laughs> I felt like I was feeding her every 45 minutes, like the second half of the day. That's already been better today as well. So every day is different. We just, you know, roll with the punches and she looks super cute. She was covered up well, I think she's swaddled right now, so you can't see. But she has like a total fall vibe going on. Black long sleeve with some cheetah bloomers. Very cute. I am wearing my new mama sweatshirt. So soft and comfortable. It is like a super stretchy material rather than just like a typical cotton material. I love it. This is from Brooklyn Grace, I believe. It's Carly Ann Dell's if you follow her on Instagram, her company. And so I got the Little Miss crew neck in this one to support her and because I think they're super cute. I was really excited for this. And then while I was getting this, I got Emerson, the Little Miss one, which is adorable. So we both have pink sweatshirts from Brooklyn Grace, but I need to head to the grocery store because we have been out of dishwasher pods for, I think we ran out like mid of, middle of the week last week. I haven't been to the grocery store. Chris has gone and he's like, oh, what do we need from the store? I'm like, fricking dishwasher pods. And he's like, oh, perfect. Yeah, I'll grab those. And that's now two times he's been to the grocery store and has not remembered them. So I'm going this time. I went on a two mile walk with Lulu. My legs are so sore from yesterday, even though I didn't even really do that much. It's just, it was my first day back to like a full leg day working with a barbell. Um, everything for sure felt heavier, even though the weights were very light compared to what I normally use. So we are just going to be easing back into it. Obviously let's head to the grocery store. to the gym. I woke up at 5.30 and Chris and Emerson had moved up into our room. They have actually been sleeping downstairs because what well, started off because I could not sleep and was not getting any sleep when she was up in our room. So he started feeding her. Now it's just once. It was more frequently twice in the beginning. So he was doing that. And because I'm such a light sleeper, he ended up just staying downstairs. Told him he didn't have to do that. He offered to that, which was very sweet. And last night they came back up because they 
I think he fed her at like one or something. I don't know. I thought she was waking up when I was getting up, so I was just gonna feed her before I left. It, well, I would have to pump after still. Breastfeeding is just a full-time job, but she ended up going back to sleep. So I pumped for like 20 minutes, got nine ounces, love that. That's been pretty consistent for me in the mornings. Um, but I put five in the fridge and then I have four just sitting in a bottle ready for him to feed her when she wakes up so he doesn't have to like go downstairs, warm up milk, like do the whole process. It's like sitting there ready to go. And I'm gonna head in and lift shoulders. I'm gonna walk first. Mm, I got here a little earlier. I was planning on just, it was like, as long as I'm at the gym by seven, I'll be happy. And it's 645. So I'm gonna walk for a little bit and then lift shoulders and then go home and get the day started. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I'm feeling anxious, baby, I'm not sure. But I got on in my baby, I don't want to know. Who do you mean? I'm on it, I don't want to know where it goes. Moon and I dig to me, I'm a soul. I'm feeling anxious lately, I don't know. Be gonna eat or I go, baby, think I gotta go. Nani, you know, man, sing a car, you should take it slow. Moon and I dig to me, I'm a soul. Yeah, and I'll your job. It's you. Nemori's okay, no, you're boom. I'll travel to the moon. The upper is so do not go. It's you. Finito, it was fantastic. Got my smoothie, also got Chris's smoothie because I'm so nice. <laughs> Just kidding, because he's so nice to let me go to the gym and feed her while I get a little knee time in. So I basically just did, I walked for a little under 20 minutes, one set of dumbbell field goals to warm up my shoulders. I didn't record the band exercise, exercise I did, I just did band pull aparts. Um, and then I did two tri sets and that was it. It was very efficient, it was great. Still easing back into it. This workout had a little bit more of the intensity sprinkled in because I've realized my cardiovascular fitness is still there. My endurance is still there. It's just my strength has gone down and I definitely get fatigued faster. Like my muscle endurance has gone down. I just kept it lower volume, but kept the intensity up, which felt really good. So I'm slowly easing back into it. Obviously not trying to rush anything, definitely not trying to injure myself, especially with shoulders. I kept the weight light because I've had a shoulder in injury previously and I'm definitely not trying to F that back up. Thanks. Hey girl. Say hey. <laughs> we just had our best bath time experience. She totally enjoyed the bath. She didn't cry at all or getting out. And with the whole lotion process, she just like, oh. Yeah. Oh, Lulu. Now I think she's ready to honestly go to sleep. <laughs> you haven't slept much today, huh? You smell so nice. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be.